Uh, hey everyone, this is um, Thunderwolf, um, and in this video I'll be showing you this type of effect here. It is a depth of field, as you can see, and that means that like it's just focused on this, um, the part that you've chosen, and in this image it is the pig. Although, as you can see, that everything out here is all blurred out, and that is because of the depth of field. Okay, so let's start. Um, we will get Cinema 40 open alright um and as you can see this is uh, my setup here um I'm just gonna delete what I've got so far and I'll show you how to do it from here okay so I got this um, basic setup here just a world my rig um okay so straight away we'll get to the depth of field um we will need a camera so um go on this light hold it down click camera and click cameras scene cameras and camera um now we're in the camera form we'll just find the scene we'll just get this one Okay, um, let's say that we wanted to focus on the pig again, um, we can untick that, and, oops, um, now you can see that we have this camera here looking at the scene, and wherever the green is, that is where the focus will be on, so we obviously have to shorten that, but before we do that, we have to set up the depth of field, so, click on your render settings, click effect, and depth of field and keep the um blur strength to about four um and now we have to go into the camera and that's created a depth tag and um as you can see the camera goes quite far and that means there will be a bigger focus so we'll take that down to about oh about 400 or even 300 yeah 300 is about good and uh, we'll just shorten it a little bit more yeah that's about right um and you can either get a front blur or a rear blur um for this we want a rear blur which means that we'll be um, blurring out everything behind it and we'll be focused on the camera spot. Okay, so we'll just keep about that. You don't really have to change any of that. And tick that on again. And if we do that, and extend this one more. Okay, now go back onto it. Try this. And after it does the render, then it will um, do the depth of field. And as you can see, that is a very nice effect right there. Um, and that's how you do the depth of field. Now I'm just going to do some um, color correction to it. So, so we're just going to render this first. Um, so just um, save it. Um, save it as a um, Photoshop file because we'll be doing the rest in Photoshop. So. Okay, and we'll render it. And while that's happening, we'll get up Photoshop. Okay.
As you can see, this is the render without the depth of field, and then when this render is done, then it will add the depth of field render and Alright, and as you can see now it adds it. That's um, a nice effect. So once we've done that we'll just get it in. Okay. Okay, um first up, um you will want to um just duplicate this no okay it does doesn't seem to want to no okay um okay doesn't seem to like it we'll just click new anyway and we'll do it like this okay now it should be able to work um duplicate your um layer and as you can see, you go into the blending options and we can turn it to a soft light or an overlay. I prefer an overlay and then you can change the opacity to something reasonable, about 40%. And now you can add the, um, the other adjustment layers, so we change the levels. Not by much though. So. Make it quite dark, but then we'll make it quite lighter later. Okay, now add some curves. Oh no, actually, we won't use curves, we can use exposure. No, okay, um delete them okay um now get a gradient map um we'll actually just stay on this one um click on gradient map then and this has turned it into a black and white um you can either like reverse it which yeah no nah. and then um what you want to do is set a color that would be nice they have all these ones here but you can use them if you'd like. Um, I'll use this one as that look will look quite nice. And you just come in here and we'll lower the gradient down quite a bit. And we'll add an another gradient map. And we can create a custom one. So you just click on the gradients and click on these little markers to change it. I want to add like a little green, green effect. Um, this one change black to a lighter green. Yeah, that's about right. Um, and we'll just lower the opacity of it and put it. Oh no. Lower it all. So yeah, you just gotta like really fiddle around with it a lot. Um, I'm just gonna create a new layer because it's looking quite um, uh, d um, light. Uh, yeah, we'll keep it as that. Um. And 
and um I'm just gonna like give it a little like a fade effect. Yeah, sorry about that, I'm back. Um Okay, yeah, you should hear me now. Um sorry about that. Okay, I'm back now. Okay, so um we were adding a shade, so um you wanna click on your brush, so make sure it's on the brush and change the size to about 380 and make sure it's on black and you can just go over it go around it like this and once you've got that you can always lower the opacity to about there and that, I think I think that's looking good um, I reckon we're about finished unless we can um, Oh yeah, yeah, that's about that's about done. Okay, so thanks for watching the um, video and um, just give it a like if it actually helps you. And you can subscribe if you want to see any more upcoming tutorials. So uh, thanks for watching.